Hello guys, today I want to showcase you a solution based on a tweet by Steve Bauman here who suggested to add a trait if you want to have any metric around your eloquent model, whatever that metric may be. For example, for users, metric could be logins. For mailboxes, metric could be processed emails. And this is kind of a universal solution to save those metrics with values of month and year and also using enum classes to make it more error proof. So let me demonstrate in a demo project. So I've recreated that trade in app traits. I have has metrics here. And then in the user model, I have use has metrics with that trait on top. Then also within has metrics, I need to have metrics as a class, which looks like this eloquent model. And this is the migration file for that metric. So we have polymorphic relations with model and that model ID and value for specific year and month. And this is an important column of name of the metric. And this is how it looks in the database. And let me demonstrate to you how it works. So here I am in my artisan tinker in a terminal. And if I get the first user, I have a model. But then what I can do is from that trade has metrics have user increment metric of any name, for example, logins incremented by one. And the result is null. So that function doesn't actually return anything. But in the database, if we refresh that metrics table, we have this, we have metric for user ID one with the name logins and value of one for specific year and month. If we do that again, for example, another login for that user, we refresh and the value of that is two. So this is how it works on the database level. And then whenever we need that metric to have some kind of statistic, we can do user metrics where name logins, for example, probably the syntax is value of that value field, the value is two. And of course, you can create separate functions in the same has metrics to have that in a shorter way. But that's not all what Steve is suggesting is adding enums here because what if you make a typo of logins and type login instead, for example, if we do something like this, then what happens in the database, we'll have a new row instead of incrementing the existing one. So to avoid that for such string options, you should use enum classes like, for example, user metric, and that probably should be named logins, by the way. So now what you can do is increment metric. And instead of that string, you can do user metric logins from what I remember value like this. So we execute that. This is a notice from Tinker. So it doesn't really affect anything. And if we refresh, the value is three. So enum classes, one of the usages of enum classes is adding a structure to avoid potential errors while using string names. And then final thing what I wanted to show you in this video is how that actually works. That increment metric is first or create. It's an eloquent syntax of getting the first value by those conditions, or if it doesn't exist, then create it with value zero and then increment. Also, what's interesting under the same tweet of Steve Bauman, another Twitter user, if we scroll down, this Newton job suggested a better way to do that with metrics absurd. I haven't tried it myself, but I guess it's an alternative syntax to first or create. And I do have a separate video about absurds. So I will link that in the description below. So yeah, what do you think about the solution? Have you tried something like that in your projects? Or will you from now or maybe you have a package in mind that does a similar thing, and you could recommend it to other Laravel users. Let's discuss in the comments below. And thank you, Steve, for sharing this tip on Twitter, which received 200 likes from people, which is quite a lot. Impressive number. Simple but powerful and reusable concept. Subscribe to the channel if you want to get more tips like this one from myself or if I notice something useful on Twitter or elsewhere. And see you guys in other videos.